Welcome to Hamburg Acres, folks. So, uh, we are in the second week of the season, archery season. And uh, I came out last night, it was raining most of the day, and I came out last night and uh, I had four deer standing in front of me, two spikers. One was a, one was a pretty tall one, you know. Uh, the other one was just the one that I saw last week basically probably the same deer and uh and then two of the fawns were out there didn't see the doe don't know where the doe is and didn't see uh slugger either last night so Hoping to see him tonight. Um, he's on my hit list, and he's the only he's the only deer that's been on this my cameras um, all summer long. It's the same same deer all the time. So you know, if he comes out, he's going down. Plus, plus I have the uh, plus I have the antlerless tag. Not sure what to use him on, use that on yet. Um, from what I'm seeing on my cameras and what I've been seeing in the field here, there's only one mature doe. And I don't know, I don't really want to shoot her, I guess. But uh, we'll see what transpires the rest of the week. That uh, there's, a, there's a buck fawn that stands out like a sore thumb he's got an orange cap on his head and uh that's how i kind of thought he was a buck when i seen that orange cap but um he has no horns but he's almost as big as the doe you know he's he's a pretty good sized deer already but i don't know it's a tough decision what to use that tag on so well it's uh two o'clock in the afternoon and we're gonna see what happens tonight So this grouse comes and finds me no matter where we are on this property. Here he is sitting right here. You see him? You see him on that window? He just knows I'm here. What do I do with this guy? I didn't make no noise getting out here. He just shows up. Now all of a sudden he wants to be my friend. No, don't chew me. 
Don't chew on me. No. No. No, you can't chew on me. Don't chew on me. Yeah, there. You walk on me. Yep, nice. Nice birdie. Yep. Yep. You're a pretty bird. Don't be pecking at my face. Peck at my face, I'm going to be mad. See any deer out there? You see any deer? I don't see any deer. Hey, enough. Stop it. Stop it. You let me pet you? You let me pet you? No? Not gonna let me pet you. Okay. Okay, just saying.
look who's here again. Just hanging out in my window. Well guys, <clears throat> we're getting ready to uh, go out for day four here and uh, it's one of them uh, blustery days here in northern Wisconsin. Cold front came through yesterday or last night, whatever, and it's kind of raining off and on. It's it's actually sprinkling right now, you can't really tell, but it's, it's raining and uh, wind's supposed to pick up and whatever and it's going to be one of those days, but we're going to go out anyhow um, this afternoon. But uh, what, I, what I wanted to show you here is uh, I went and got the chips out of the cameras yesterday and uh, and uh, I featured this buck in last week's video and uh, we're calling him Slugger. My wife thinks that the one horn kind of looks like a baseball bat so we're going to call him Slugger. So as I'm looking through these videos I realize that Slugger's got a twin brother. They look almost identical except Slugger's got a horn on a, a, a fork on one side of his head and the brother has the fork on the other side of the head. So when you're looking at these videos you think it's all the same deer but it's not. It's actually two different deer. Now I have not seen them yet out in the field. They're on the camera all the time. Um, so hopefully one of these days I'm gonna get get a shot at one of them. But uh, there's I don't know three or four other spikes out there. Um, small one the one that was on uh, yesterday's video i believe i had one on there that he's probably i don't know four or five inches tall maybe and uh so there's there's several different spikers so we're we're, we're at the point we're going to be calling this spikerville here because that's all we have out there are spikers and then we have the four that's on there every every uh every video almost we have the four coming out and uh so I'm assuming tonight's going to be the same. But um, so I want to show you this picture here. So this first this first clip is going to be two clips of uh, of uh, Slugger. And now this second clip here, the second clip is going to be two clips of the opposite, the twin, that we're going to, we're going to call him Babe. So 
so these two deer are running around out there and uh and hopefully one of these nights we're gonna get a shot at them i'm, I'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait you know that other one that was out there uh yesterday or whenever i saw him the the four or five inch tall he'd be fine but but i don't want to shoot him i want to wait until you know at least until the rut is over like that first week in november or so you know if i haven't seen anything better then when he comes out yes i he's probably gonna go down too you know but um i do this every year i i procrastinate and then all of a sudden November comes around and then I don't see nothing. There's nothing around here anymore. They all disappear and go somewhere else. So I got good food out there this year. So I'm hoping they're, they're going to stick around a little more and maybe that'll attract some bigger, a bigger buck in, but we'll see, you know, we, we never know, you know, but anyhow, tonight we're going to be trying out this new camera I got. Um, let me see if I can get it out of my pocket here. Okay. So I got this camera, I didn't pay for this. I bought it with my points from my, uh, my debit card. And uh, it's a Minolta MN 4K20 NV. Um, so basically I would imagine MN stands for Minolta. The 4K is your video quality. And the 20 is probably the, uh, for the pictures, 20 pixels. And then NV is night vision. So this has night vision on it. Um, I'm not quite sure on the distances, but we're gonna, hopefully we can test this out tonight and actually, um, I'm gonna sit later into the dark and I normally don't do that. I, I normally, I leave the field when I feel like it's, dusk has set upon us and I can still see to walk on my trails without using a flashlight. So that's when I try and leave my stand because if they're coming out right at dark, I'm not gonna get a shot at them anyhow. I'm not gonna take that shot okay but but i'm gonna sit out there later tonight just to try and see if i can use this camera all right um the night vision and see how it works so i'm, I'm just testing it out it, it seems like a nice camera it's a nice little um handheld one uh i i picked this up because i'm not real happy with the gopro that's what i'm filming on right now um, the batteries are not lasting in the GoPro. I'm always changing batteries and uh, seeing I'm using the external mic mod, I have to take the whole thing apart to get the battery out. And it's just kind of a pain in the butt to use the GoPro. You know, I'm still gonna use it. I'm still gonna use it on a tractor and when I'm doing all my stuff, cause it's an action camera, this is not, if I hold this in my hand, it's, uh, it's all over the place, you know? So I'm still gonna use the GoPro, but you know, I wanna use this for like when I'm sitting in my stand out there and it's on a tripod and it's just sitting there and I can film, try and get some nice film of the deer. Um, and all I gotta do is push the button on the back. That's all I gotta do to get this one to go. So we're gonna, we're gonna test it out, see how it works, see the quality of the picture. And, uh, and that's what we're gonna do tonight. And uh, hopefully we see some deer. So, uh, you know, if I don't see you before the end of this video, you know, give me a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe to my video. And, uh, and we'll see you on the next one.